Hey guys, happy Motivational Monday. I'm Sammy Womack from A Sunny Side Up Life. And this week I wanna to talk to you guys about what to do when you feel like your progress has been stalled and how to continue to move forward. And I've heard this question so many times, unfortunately, because of COVID and how many people have been laid off or hours cut back or, you know, just everyone, you know, has had a really crazy year and a lot of us feel like our progress has definitely been stalled. So how do we move forward when we feel like that? So first of all, I know that this is the worst and it feels like, you know, you just got traction. And a lot of us, when we look back on our debt-free stories, we have these moments. For us, this moment was when we found out that we were pregnant with our third daughter about, um, how many months was it? Like three, four, four months, I think, into our debt-free journey. We were like, no, we just got started and now we're pregnant again. What do we do? Um, so we definitely kind of had that moment and it's okay to kind of kick and scream and cry and kind of mourn the progress that might have been lost, you know, in times like this. But remember to give yourself grace and that sometimes when things like this happen, they're out of our control. There was, you know, it's not a flaw of yours. You know, sometimes life just happens. And even if it is something that you screwed up and, um, you know, you bought something you shouldn't have bought or you made an error in your budget or something that kind of was your fault, <laughs> um, give yourself grace and know that you're human and that we all make mistakes. We all have these setbacks. Seriously, this is a part of everybody's story, even, you know, our exact stories are unique, but this happens, um, you know, in all different forms. So give yourself grace and remember that it will happen in its own time when it is supposed to happen. And I know that for us waiting for our house to sell, which was our last debt and basically just waiting and waiting and waiting and knowing that it would sell eventually but we had to wait for it to sell when the time was right it was super painful and it was super annoying and not fun at all um and one of the hardest parts of our journey but one of the things that got me through was knowing it will happen when it's supposed to happen it will happen in its own time and the timing you know when it did happen it was it was great. It was meant to be. It was all the things, right? It will happen in its own time. Um, and to remember that we live in an abundant universe. There is no limit on money. There is no limit on success. Just because the person next to you has money does not mean that there's no money left for you. Just because the person that you follow on Instagram has a successful business that you would one day like to have doesn't mean that you can't have it also. We live in such an abundant universe. There is plenty for all of us. There's plenty for all of us and your time will come. Promise, like it will happen when it is supposed to happen. When all of the cards are lined up, right? And sometimes when we are in these processes of a, a big waiting period or we feel like our progress is stalled or we feel like we're just standing still and the world is moving around us some of the things that we can do is focus on what we can control focus on the day-to-day -day. what can you actually control and on our debt-free journey sometimes that's just okay I can choose to bring my lunch from home I can choose to not go out to eat I can you know choose to turn all the lights off and, and make the electricity bill a little lower. I can focus on the positives. I can work on my personal development. I can work on all of those kinds of things. There are a lot of things in the day to day that we can control. There are still positives that we can focus on while we're going through a rough patch in our journey. Okay. So keep your head up. Remember that you are not alone in these struggles and that there are other people who have been through or are going through what you're going through. So reach out to someone if you need someone to talk to, whether that's me or a trusted friend or family member or somebody else in the debt-free community, reach out. You are not alone. 
um, keep your head up and I promise that this rough patch will get better. All right. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.